Forgiving it, don Roberto. Good evening, how are you? Very good, and you? Excellent, I am ready for the class. Yes, I give her start uh, being the class. Yes. Yesterday I had a problem with my internet because it's rained hard, very hard. Yesterday. Yes. Yes, uh, here uh, rain uh, for Ciudad del Gao. Oh. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Are we ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. More than ready. What day is today? Yeah. Today is Thursday. Thursday. 20, the 20, April, April 20, April 20, 2023. 20. Oh, yes, 2023. I have good news and bad news. Nah. <laughs> no, actually, we had some issues yesterday with Zoom and the video, so we have to repeat the class from yesterday. So, officially, we really? start. Yes, it was a big mess. Oh. Yes, yeah, so officially, we start today. This okay. is a, yes, so let's start again. <laughs> it's a problem with the record in the Zoom. It was a terrible problem with the recording. I couldn't find it. I had people helping me, a lot of people helping me today. And it was impossible to recover the, the recording. Okay, teacher, yeah. no problem. So we're getting off again. So taking okay. off again. <laughs> All right. So I hope okay. everybody had a good day. Everybody's fine. Everybody had a good dinner. Everybody is relaxed and ready. So we're going to take off. As I said before, we're going to get to introduce ourselves. It's kind of interesting because even though we are introduced in the class, we are presenting everything related to the class. We already have a bit of confidence because we were talking yesterday, right? So that's great. Besides yesterday, we didn't have also the, the option for the breakout rooms. Remember, the setting of Zoom were not done either. So today we also have that. So we have that option. So it's much better today. All right. So okay. I have to pretend everything. <laughs> everything is from the beginning again. So Let's start. Let's start writing on the chat. Let's write a welcome message on the chat to everybody. A welcome message, a positive message. Say something nice. Say like, welcome everybody. I'm happy to be in this class. I hope we can practice. I would like to practice conversations a lot. Okay, please keep it up. You can do it. You can try. If you have questions, you can count on me. Whatever you want to say. Okay, so write a positive message on the chat so everybody can see and read your message, all right? You have two minutes to write a nice message okay. on the chat, yes? Okay, teacher. Go ahead. 
if you need help, you can say. How do you say? How can I say? What's the meaning of? Those are possible questions you can also ask. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. I my computer. All right. Are we ready? I connect with my cell phone. I transit to my okay. phone. Okay, right now, before you get home, you are connected with your cell phone. Okay, great. Let's see the messages. No messages yet. Wait a minute, teacher. Wait a minute. Great. I, I think, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> nice. I'm organizing my ideas, some people say. Yeah, teacher. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yay, there you go. Yes, you can do it. Good evening to all. Tonight is the class. <laughs> okay. Yes, we we'll start actually, like if we are starting the module tonight. And that's great because we're going to start well. So, not hesitations. Great. Down, teacher. I believe in myself. That's great. I trust. I get confidence in myself. That's nice. Okay. Some people are still at the office. Some people are still working. So they are not connected yet. All right. Great. Mm -hmm. Three messages, three messages, three positive messages. Actually, that's good. You can read it. You can react to the messages and it's nice to react to the messages. Okay. So you say it's a way to accept the messages. It's a way to say thank you. All right. Good evening. All good here. Okay. From Mary. Mm -hmm. Nice. From Carlos, I'm not afraid of making mistakes. Yeah, of course not. We are champions. We are the champions. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's good. I believe. I believe I can fly. It's a song. I know you start singing. <laughs> okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Nothing will stop me. Yes. Great. Nothing can stop you. Yes, you are the owner of your decisions. That's good. That's great, actually. Okay, very good, very good. Very optimistic, very positive. Don't worry about asking questions. Actually, it's a good thing that you ask questions. Ask questions teacher. all the time. Yes, sir, tell me. I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, what is different about um, brother with siblings? Siblings. Siblings, yeah. Yeah. What is the difference? Brothers, it's only for men, for boys. But if you say okay. siblings, you include brothers and sisters. In ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Bo, uh, and gen uh, gender? Gender, yes. Both gender. Both, yes. both genders. That's okay. right. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, sir. Yesterday I have a quick I have a problem with my internet because because here is ranked a lot. Really? So that's why you didn't finish the class, right? Yes, teacher. I can, I can that finish the class. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. We are repeating the class from yesterday. 
<laughs> okay, okay. Yesterday was only testing, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it's teacher. Only testing, don't worry. So, like Actually, a proof. Yes, it was just yeah, the proof. <laughs> just testing. Actually, I was afraid because I say, oh my God, what are we gonna do? But it's all right. Okay. So interesting questions. How do you say, right? How do you say? People say, oh, how do you say this and this and this in English? So maybe you have questions and then you don't know how to say something in English. You ask, how do you say question? Okay. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? You will usually ask the word please because English is usually very formal. Okay. How, okay. Another question. How do you pronounce? You can also ask questions like related to English. How do you pronounce? Maybe the word. How do you pronounce? Uh, booklet. How do you pronounce warehouse? Maybe you see, oh, how do you pronounce this word? Yes. Okay. Teacher. Yes. How do you pronounce fo focus? Focus. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, I said, uh, uh, um, I see in the video on YouTube the you difference. Focus. <laughs> uh -huh, and the other. What is exactly. about, about word? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's another thing. But this is one word. And the uh -huh. other one is two words. The combination of uh -huh. one verb and the pronoun you. So it's different. Totally different. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you Focus. can also say, uh-huh. What's the meaning? Teacher. Yes. What's the meaning? Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement is when you recognize, when you say, oh, I want to thank these people for this and this and this. So you are giving the recognition to that person. For example, it's like that when you say thanks uh, the people for, for any word. For the word, for the support, for the advice. So that is for the achievement. That okay. is acknowledging the participation of that person or the support of that person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so here you have some questions. What other questions can you ask when you don't know, Robert? The chair. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Uh, what, is, what is the correct pronoun? Pronunciation. For pronunciation for mm -hmm. vacation or vacation? Vay. Vay. Vacation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Okay. So you see, you can um, even collaborate here. You can make this a little bit bigger. Let's make it to 24 so that everybody can see it. Mm -hmm. You Is can. That Yes. May I write in the, in the whiteboard? Oh, yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah. That is the idea that everybody collaborates. Uh, okay, I try to the uh -huh. something. How do you um, spell? What's a synonym? Pero usa la opción de texto, porque si no la otra es muy difícil, como si tuviera un puntero like uh, like a pen. Okay. So okay, use okay. the T, the letter T for text. That's easier okay. because you can use the, the keyboard of the computer. And sure, what does mean faceless? Faceless. Faceless, yes. No face. <laughs> okay, try to move to next to the text. Move, drag. Arrasel. Exactly. Faceless. Okay, less is una palabra agregada a cualquier otra palabra. So like less, a homeless? Exactly, homeless, no home. So faithless, no faith. But in this case, it's an adjective that you can use as a figurative concept. For example, when you say, oh, 
this person is so faceless, like no shame. Ah, sin vergüenza. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you can say ah, homeless, okay. timeless, moneyless, like me. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because okay. you say more or less. So less means no, nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you continue writing the question, other possible questions or expressions that we use in the class, that we need in the class. For example, if you are working in a group, you are working with a partner and I say, did you finish the activity? And you haven't finished the activity yet. What do you say? Excuse me, teacher. Can you okay. repeat? You work, right? Yes, yes. With a course. partner on an activity. Yeah, yeah. And I ask the question, did you finish? And then you say, no, 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 we haven't finished the activity yet. How do you request for time? Uh, give me a couple of minutes to mm -hmm. finish. Give us a couple of minutes or please wait, wait for us some more minutes, some more time. Give us some more time. Yes. So this is another type of expression that we also need to include. Okay. So maybe you are. Uh -huh. give give me or give us if it is in a group or in pairs, give us a couple of minutes more. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. You can you include. Are fire <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Somebody else, somebody else wants to contribute or collaborate to write more questions or expressions. Mm -hmm. What else? Hey, chair. Yeah. Others, can you can you repeat again? Can you repeat? Mm -hmm. Again. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can say explain. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that we don't repeat the, the first one. Can you explain that again? All right. Another one. Some more. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you answer the very common question, how are you? Possible ways. I am good. Good. Uh huh. I am great. Great. Mm -hmm. Or teacher, how is it going? It is. It's another way to say it, right? I am. But it's informal um, or, or, or. Not very formal. formal. The most formal one, yeah, definitely. Is how are you? How's it going? How do you do? What's up? What's going on? It's less formal. But, you can say, uh huh. But when I am uh, meeting with a. Uh, and people investment, for example, that, mm -hmm. how can I say uh, the more common, how are you maybe? How are you? Or how is it going? How Could is be? it going? Yeah, maybe, but not that formal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm great, I'm good, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to be here. Good to see you. I'm, um, yeah, I'm glad to see you as well. I'm okay. Okay. Where is the text? <laughs> Somebody start typing, but you already saw the text, so don't worry. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I, I put it this this way so that you can collaborate, but it, it's okay. It's okay. We are trying, we are testing the, the whiteboard. It's fine. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing. It was just testing, remember. So maybe you can write. See if you can write. Some people have the, this option and some, some other people don't, but it's okay to test. Everybody try to write something, a question, an expression, a sentence something similar that we can use 
the useful expressions in the class. Can you start? Yes. Uh, I can to to put on the, the other other work. Mm -hmm. For example, how you can stand me. Um. Mm -hmm. what, what's the meaning in, in, in Spanish? Uh, maybe, ¿cómo puedes soportarme? Is, is okay? if, you, if you are affirming, like an affirmative sentence, mm, maybe you can say, I don't understand how he can stand me. Or maybe you want to ask a question. So if you want to ask a question, then you say, how can he stand me? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. How can he? Yes. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a um, question mark, exactly. Question mark, and then yes. you go like with the intonation. How can he stand me? Okay. Yes. okay. I don't know how he can stand me. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. but that is, yeah, you switch the order. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry, teacher. I, I have the other. That's all all right. It's all right. Uh, for example, uh, the serve. Mm -hmm. The serve. What's the meaning of the serve? The serve is literally medicine. So you say, no, I don't deserve this. I confuse that with uh, food. The I cert. imagine that it's. Huh? But that is with a T, dessert. Ah, okay. Is it, would you like some dessert? But this is an action. You deserve. You say, oh, you won a prize of the. Um, at the job or you want a diploma recognition say, oh you deserve it because you work really hard okay mm -hmm. okay thank you mm -hmm. deserve deserve with v and the uh -huh. food the cake the pie is a dessert but similar this, uh, similar to the desert but dessert dessert d-e-s-s-e-r-t dessert yes R R T. Dessert. Ah, okay. Hmm? Okay, very good. Um, good. Uh, sorry, teacher. That's One more. Right. I'm finished. There <laughs> we go with the text. <laughs> All right. Okay. Pursue or pursue? And I don't know. Pursue. 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 Like the pursuit of happiness. I guess maybe I, uh, I am pursued my goals. My goals, yes, my dreams. Uh, okay. My okay. happiness. <laughs> Do you remember the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness? Um, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't you see it? With Willow Smith. Okay. The Pursuit of Happiness. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, it's a okay. movie in which he tries to be a banker. And he tries to teach his son the lessons in life. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to stop sharing. It's enough interaction now. So we can start by taking attendance. Remember, this is our first class. <laughs> the ones that just oh, didn't teacher. know oh. that. <laughs> 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 the, ones, the ones that just joined didn't know this so be aware of let's see the attendance oh my god let me find your names my goodness it's going to be similar all right here we go andrea Lisbeth Monge. Present. Hello, good evening. Nice to meet you. If this is the first time you are in class with me, you have to say nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. Andrea. Yes. yes. Great. Nice to meet you. All right. Carlos Ernesto Sarceño. Present teacher. How are you? Good teacher, very good. Nice, I'm glad. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm okay. Today was not an easy day because of the issue I had with the recording, but I'm better now. Teacher, remember, um, put the button record. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it, the, the app usually does it like automatically. But oh, okay. at the time that I was supposed to save it, something happened with the system and it couldn't be saved in the folder that it was supposed to be done. <laughs> so that's what happened. Okay, there's and no I problem. I couldn't find it. Dennis Fernando? Not here. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria? Present teacher. Hello, good, good evening. evening. How are you? Nice. And you? Everything okay? Yes. It's nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. If this is the first class, remember. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Hazel. Hazel Berenice Jimenez. Present. How are you? Fine. Thanks. How are you? Great. Happy to be here. Okay. Thanks. Always elegant, Hazel. <laughs> yes, because Just my work. Just <laughs> from work, right? Yes, True. that's right. <laughs> okay. Jose Andres Martinez? Not here. Julio Cesar Fabian? Present. Hello, good evening. How are you? Catherine Beatriz Urbina. Present. Hello, good evening. How are you? Kathy Briseida. Present. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Great. Maria Leticia. Present, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? All good. All good. All good. All good. Let's see. I need a set of minutes. Let's see. A set of minutes. No, mejor para su tamor. Oh, mejor una proxy. No, no molesta el hígado. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Y es mejor. Thank, thank you for your recommendation. Un diclofenac entonces. No, diclofenac no. Bueno, al menos si no hay daño renal. Really? Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank Gotta you. Be Maria careful. Leticia. Careful, careful. Hmm. <laughs> Mateo Rosales Reyes. Not here. All right. Anyways. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Nice. Great. Rolando Danilo. Rolando Danilo. Present teacher. How are you? Uh, good, good. Oh, good. And you? I'm great too. This is your first class. Oh, after the class, uh, um, after yesterday is a problem. Um, it was today, raining too much. Oh, uh, I had a problem in in my work. It's, At work. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get uh, it. Today is here in my class. Nice, great, welcome. Okay, Rudy, Alexander. Rudy is not here tonight. Present, present teacher. Oh, you are here. <laughs> I am Sorry. here. How are you? I'm okay, and you? Okay, all right, I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for asking. All right, Salvador. Present teacher. Hello, good evening, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine for you now. Nice, I'm glad, I'm glad you are here. Mm -hmm. Susana, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice. 
teacher, yesterday I cannot da connect him because. Uh -huh. Eso. <laughs> okay, you couldn't, you say I couldn't connect. I couldn't connect uh -huh. because I, I, uh, no sé cómo se dice eso, me va a ayudar. Yo soy parte de, de Cruz Roja uh -huh. y tenemos brigada los miércoles y los viernes. You are Entonces, very busy on Wednesdays and Fridays. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know how you say brigada or what a brigada is, but you are working. You are on on a shift, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem. Thank you for informing. Okay, thank you, teacher. Virginia del Carmen. Present, teacher. Okay, how are you? Very good. Very good. Nice. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Don't know. Okay, William Boris. Are you here? No. That's sad. Okay, perfect. Nice. Okay, as I was saying, maybe the ones that were not here at the beginning of the class, we are repeating yesterday's class because there were so many issues. Okay, so if we, I mean, if you were absent, don't worry too much because we're going to repeat the information, the introduction to the curse, and everything. All right. So I even made a mistake, I think, of the of this information. So officially we're starting our class number one on Thursday, April the 20th, which is today. And of course, my information, my personal information. If you have any questions related to my professional information, you can ask me. Yesterday, I remember, uh, I guess somebody asked, teacher, how long did it take you to communicate in English? And I say, yes, it was about a year and a half, but it was really, really dedicated. I was really, really focused on the studies. So you are really busy because you have a job, you have a family, but if you really dedicate some time, at least the class, but really really focus no distractions no cell phones for games no social media you are really into the class you can develop the skill of communicating and if you use english at work of course it's going to be a lot easier because you are practicing here in the class on the platform completing the exercises and putting this knowledge into practice in the work or in the working environment. So that's really good. Questions about me? Teacher, uh, do you interested in, in the other language? I'm always interested in learning other languages. <laughs> I'm always- uh, as, A part of the uh, English? Besides English, yes. As part of my besides. career, I studied French. I learn French, uh, but I forgot. I understand, I read, I know words, expressions, but I okay. don't speak fluently because I never practiced after graduating. Then I was uh, studying okay. Mandarin. I know, I still remember some phrases in Mandarin, but it was very yes. short time because I was working and the program didn't continue. Then I was studying Italian by myself on an app on the cell phone. So I can I can say some expressions in Italian as well. And I and I love learning different languages because it's interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, who speak Mandarin teacher? Uh, when uh, I was a teacher, oh, Mandarin is the new version of Chinese. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. But mainly they speak this like the the modern version of Chinese in Taiwan. 
because okay. the teachers we had were volunteers from Taiwan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No more. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. What app do you use for learn other language? Duolingo. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> Because, I mean, when you don't know anything from that language, it gives you a lot of vocabulary and a lot of repetitions. But then you can use other websites, you can use videos, you can use other resources online. But at the beginning, to practice and to repeat the vocabulary, it's a good option. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. No more questions? Uh, teacher, what is your recommended for uh, learning very fast English? Uh, do you have any uh, uh, maybe trick? <laughs> uh, like a tips? Yeah. Uh -oh. A lot of practice. A lot of practice, but of everything. Practice listening, practice a, reading. A boy free time. <laughs> uh, focus I mean, on that. Exactly. It's because if you really want to learn fast, you postpone other interests. Okay. Very For example, good. if you have other interests like playing games, like going out, you dedicate this time because later it's going to be more productive. It yeah. happens to me when I was really focused on learning the language. I remember that I didn't even go out with my family on the weekends because I was really into the language. I was really dedicating time to read, to write. And I was really, how can I say? I, I was really organized because if I didn't learn the topic, let's say a basic topic, I didn't continue with the next topic until I learned this topic. For example, okay. the, the most common basic topics in English are simple present, present continuous, simple past. People say, oh no, simple past is too difficult because you have to memorize the verse. But if you don't memorize the irregular verse in past, you will never speak in past. You will never be able to say the experiences that happened to you in the past. So that's what I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, thank you. All right. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that was my information okay these are uh, the days for the evaluation <laughs> and the importance of the homework the platform these are uh, the usual reminders that we make when we start a course right so it is really necessary for you to keep working on the platform don't wait until we finish the unit try to work every day at least one assignment, one homework every day. And then when we finish the unit, you already finish all the exercises, right? So it is important to go on time, okay? Because sometimes um, people say, no, I'm gonna do all the exercises when we finish the unit. But sometimes the supervisors want to see your progress and you are in zero you don't have progress so they call me and say oh you need to remind i mean remind these participants that they need to work on the platform so you do every day one exercise and it's enough i think right so they say in support is checking you know the progress on the platform so for may 3rd we are supposed to have finished two units, two weeks, and then on that day, you are supposed to finish the two units and the midterm exam. Midterm is like an exam when we are just in the middle, half of the module, right? And the last exam by May the 17th. And of course, you can download the manual from the platform, the, the manual is on the platform. So don't forget to do that. All right, the requirements, requirements to be on the video call, on the video conference, 
to have your full name on Zoom platform in case. Wait a second. All right, sorry. I just want to say this. Maybe yesterday I mentioned this, but I will remember, I mean, I will mention and I will remind you this again. Ha pasado en otros cursos. Yo espero que igual a usted no le suceda nunca, never, ever. Que hay personas que solo se conectan. It's like listeners, listeners, listeners todo el tiempo. No podemos ser listeners. We have to be active participants. Si no participamos activamente, el efecto del aprendizaje no va a ser igual. So we have to participate. No podemos ser toda la vida listeners. So we have to participate. Porque si siempre queremos ser listeners, de repente estamos trabajando en un grupo en el que nadie habla. O que esperan que siempre la misma persona complete los exercises. Y no es así. Because we need to complete the exercises and we need to participate. We need to develop the confidence to participate, to speak, to pronounce. So it's very, very important to participate all the time. Cameras, cameras should be on. Sometimes, maybe by an emergency, like I tell you, excuse me, excuse me a minute, I can turn it off. But no, like all the time and maybe the session is open, but you are already sleeping, you are already dreaming. That could happen. I hope it doesn't happen here, as I said before. Pero que de verdad eso no suceda acá. Because we are all responsible. We are all here studying and learning. Okay? So, participation, active participation at all times. All right? So, these are the reminders. Remember, the attendance is very important. So, as much as possible, make the time to be in the class. Because sometimes people say, no, it's because I'm working, because I have an emergency. That's okay. But emergencies occur not every day, not every night, hopefully, right? So you got to be here on the class every single session. And that's one thing that it's being considered in the schedule because the schedule is from 8 to 10. So at that time, you are supposed to be available to be in class, right? And of course, sessions one-on-one, -on -one, I remember that Carlos also asked me yesterday about the sessions one-on-one. One-on-one -on -one is not necessarily an interview. Can be the time, the session time to clarify questions, doubts, to give extra examples, extra explanation, okay? But if the person doesn't have questions, maybe I can ask questions to the person. That, of course, that we take advantage of the time and we practice. That's also necessary. Preguntas hasta ahorita? Any questions so far? No questions. No questions. Everything is clear. Yes, teacher. Clear as the water. Yes. Perfect. Mary, there you are. <laughs> okay nice so these are other reminders for the conference on zoom and these are the dates in which we're gonna finish the sessions every session or every unit of course all right the objective for the first class to complete a set of questions using count and not count questions correctly by working in groups so this is something I refresh from yesterday. I told you, study countables and non-countable nouns. Study how to ask or refresh. At least take a look at the manual, double check the information. Say, oh, yes, we use how many or we use how much for this, for that, for that. So that's something we're going to do today. And the first thing it was to introduce yourself, to talk about your personal information, to talk about your work, to talk about your interest in learning English, and to talk about your expectations for this class. You already did it. You remember what you say about yourself yesterday, yes? 
¿Y se recuerdan lo que dijeron acerca de ustedes ayer? Or no, not anymore. <laughs> yes, sure. I am ready. Yes, so you are ready. I remember. Okay, great. And now you're going to tell your information to your partners. But now we're going to do it in a small groups. If you don't remember how to organize the information, igual les voy a compartir un screenshot de la lámina anterior from the previous oh, okay. slide so that you can organize your ideas. Yes? Ready? Yes. There we go. Hola compañeros, ¿qué dijo la teacher que teníamos que hacer? Um, iba a pasar las dispositivas y vamos a... I am... Eh, ¿Qué hace usted? ¿Qué es? Ah. Y luego su nombre. Ok. Um, Bye. Okay. Um, I am... Asistent, Asistent Sales. Eh, Sailor. My, my Sailor. Name, Sailor. Sailor. My name Sailor. is uh -huh. Julio Cesar. Uh -huh. I work at Unicomer Group. Eh, I am interested in, interested in learning English because um, ¿Cómo se aprender más? I want to learn more about I want language. To learn more English. Um, what expert from this model is is English? Ah, uh, no sé. <laughs> <laughs> Vale, Leti le va a dar una idea de eso. No. <risa> Con la azul. Ok. Eh, I, I work in Banco Promérica. Eh, la otra pregunta era. Hey, uh, what is what uh, your uh, spec? ¿Cuál es su expectativa de este modo? Uh -huh. No, creo que la... Ok, good evening. I am Katy. Um, my name is Katy Briseida Hernández Castillo. And I work at ADCLA. I am 30 years old. I am... I live in Zacatecoluca. I am interested in learning English because um, today it is important to speak more than one language. 
And what I expect from this module is learn more to be able to speak the language well. Only. Okay. Entonces, sería nada más eso. Sí. Sí, la otra compañera sí ya no ingresó. Se salió del, del grupo. A lo mejor se unió a otro. Es es it's very it's very it's very good the english is very good for for the people uh, in your case uh, for your work it's very important you continue studying english yeah it's very important to study because like you say if you wanna if you want to go for another country it's very important if you want to apply for a job for another country and uh, you have this opportunity you learn english or do you speak in yeah. English? Yes, Not just uh, another country, in this country, where you can earn more money. Yes, I said the English is very important because you, you, you can have different opportunities in, in this country, yeah? Uh, and you can get other opportunities in, in other in other country too, for example, which if you can travel to United States, if you if you know English, is is very good for you, yeah. Because in the United States, I work in I born in San Salvador. I live in in Suchitoto. I am interested in learning English uh, because it's important. Classmates. Es mejor que diga quizás classmates. 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 Compañeros de clases. Classmates. Uh -huh. Compañeros de clases. Vale. Tarea que lo diga otra vez, porque como usted no estuvo ayer. <risa> ah, no, ahora. <risa> Es que vaya, dele. vaya, dele, pues, hoy le toco otra vez. Ok, ok, ok. Me dijo que podía poner socialist, social, socialist. ¿Cómo le había colocado usted? Socialite. Social. Ya me mm. la palabra que le dije. Socialist with people. Vaya. Pero puede decir with my other classmates or with my classmates, no sé. Para que no diga people, porque somos nosotros sus compañeros. Ok, um, I hope to learn more and socially. Compañeros de clase, um, de clase. Ay, pero, pero dígalo completo. Desde el inicio. <risa> Pues sí, para que practique. <laughs> Good evening, class. I am Julio. My name is Julio Cesar Fabián Celaya. And I work at... No sé si se me han quedado. Sí, step by step, but we have to learn English, yes. Um, Salvador, which one the the words use in the end your work um relation with the logistics uh,
All right. Nice, great participation. I enter most of the breakout rooms. Yes, I hear people participating in English and that is the idea, having a conversation, giving examples, practicing. That's nice, that's really awesome. Okay, well, from the people that didn't introduce yesterday, ¿A quién quisieran escuchar que se presente hoy aquí en The General Meeting? Alguien que no conozcamos aún. Uh -huh. A Hazel. A Hazel. All right. Carlos. Hazel is going to give us the example. But yes. then we're going to listen please, to Please, Hazel, example. please. No, Julio Cesar. <laughs> Julio. Ah, Julio. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Julio, are, are you there, Julio? No. No. <laughs> yes, you're there. Come on, introduce, you can do it. Introduce yourself. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, okay. Bueno. Um, si me equivoco, ay, disculpe. No problem. <laughs> We are learning. Um, hello. Uh, good evening, class. I am Julio. My name is Julio Cesar Fabian Celaya. When I work at uh, an e-commerce group, I am interested in listening English. Because I like um, what is part from this module is um, um, I'm socially uh, my um, compañero de clase. With my classmates. Okay, thank you. <laughs> to socialize, to interact, to practice, to share ideas with my classmates with my partners right good nice great reactions para julio says thank you great nice uh-huh next person that you want to meet hey sir <laughs> <laughs> Hazel is always come on Hazel you can do it come on oh, oh. Ah, the people that didn't meet you yesterday they will meet oh. you today true okay <laughs> hello my name is Hazel I work at Bank of America uh, as a team leader as a telemarketing team leader I want to learn English because I think this language open opportunities. One of my objectives is practice speaking and have good conversations because I want to learn more because I think uh, my listening skills are good, but my conversation not much. Not much. <laughs> okay, we are improving the speaking skills this module. All right, great, nice. All right, should I say a name? Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he throws right. the balls. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you, Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, good evening, class. Um, my name is Carlos Sarceño, and I work at y la sal, uh, the factory to produce towels. <laughs> um, I am interested in learning English because uh, uh, I think that it's open opportunities. Um, a brokenness, a, Uh, how do you say barrera teacher broken barriers uh, borders barrier. uh, oh, break the borders uh, um, but I 
personal su, superación growth. personal yeah growth personal the, growth in yeah. the company yes and what I expected from this model is um, interchange ideas um, uh, speak a lot of um, with my classmates and everything nice the reactions don't wait for the reaction you gotta give a clap a like heart okay let's see yes there you go all right what about um, listening to Maria Rolando. Leticia Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, you choose Maria Leticia later. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Estoy en la línea. Good evening, class. I am dependiente de farmacia. My name is Maria Leticia Realejeño, and I work at Farmacia Santa Isabel. I am interested in learning English because I like it. Uh, what I ask, why, what I expect for this module is practice and learn to practice and learn all right nice reactions applaud them <laughs> <laughs> virtual claps <laughs> okay okay so how do you say dependiente de farmacia in english what do you see Draw, drugstore uh-huh Drugstore or pharmacy, it's okay, but the person that attends the pharmacy or the person that sells, they can be a clerk. Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So a pharmacy clerk. All right. Okay. Somebody raised the hand. Vieron que alguien levantó la mano que quería participar. Did you see that? No vieron. Oh my no, trabajo, God. Quizá. <laughs> uh -huh. It was. Es que era una pregunta. Oh really? It was a question. <laughs> the dependent, la eso que dijo dependiente de farmacia mm -hmm. es como los que trabajan ahí. Mm -hmm. que los que despachan. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. So Susana. Yes. Susana, so you are next. I teach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about, okay. Everybody wants to meet you. You can do it, Susana. Yeah. No seas así, Roberto. Ya iba a ir pollo, a ver. No, ya okay. es Roberto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Good evening, class. Good evening. I am Andrea. My name is Susana Andrea Urbina de Garcia. I am work in Metapan. My work in Alcaldía Municipal de Metapan. And I am working in the school in Buenavista Santa Rita, Cantón San... Buenavista Santa Rita, Cantón Santa Rita. Eh, municipio de Metapan. I interesting in learning English because it is important in my life because the open opportunities. What I expected you for that this module, 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 no sé cómo, module mm -hmm. is improve my English and the better the pronounce in speaking <laughs> okay to get a better pronunciation and better at speaking okay perfect so you are working in metapan and you are working in a school 
working in the alcaldía. Ah, but you mentioned uh -huh. the school, no? Uh huh. Yes, between ambos. Are you visit the school or you are a teacher? Uh, I am teacher, teacher. Really? Yes. What do you teach? I the ah. Huh? What do you teach? Math, yes. science. Artistic, uh, English. Parvularia, no sé cómo se dirá. Oh, preschool. Preschool. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes, and in the... Ah, en la tarde, me olvidó cómo se dice eso. Ajá. En cuarto, quinto y sexto. You have two jobs. Yes, yes, ajá. How can you work in two jobs? That's difficult. Ah... Uh, Yes, it's very Little, difficult. Más o menos. Un poco. <laughs> and when do you go to the alcaldía? Sí, es que lo que pasa es que nosotros vamos a la alcaldía porque llenamos planillas, les ayudamos en alguna parte administrativa que ellos pidan. No es que uh -huh. siempre. O sea, digamos. Sometimes. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. mm. Sometimes. But you are a teacher officially. Yes, oh, I am teacher. Oh, nice. Great, yeah. congratulations. Thanks. The reactions, Thanks. quiero ver que van a poner the reactions. Ay, thank <laughs> you, thank you. No crean, esa precisión es un poco difícil. Yeah. Enseñar oh. es difícil. It is difficult. <laughs> yes. I confirm. <laughs> okay. a, lot of, a lot of patience. You have to. And there are some days that are not very good days. It's a beautiful and uh, demanding. Le uh -huh. Demanding yes. professions, true. Yes. yes. Ah, tell me about it. <laughs> okay, thank you. You see, your presentation was interesting. Everybody's presentation is interesting, but we didn't know that you are from Metapan. We didn't know that you are a teacher, that you have two jobs. So that's awesome. Okay, Rolando, se ha estado ahí aguantando, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Sanchez. Go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, teacher. Why no. not? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Um, good mm -hmm. night. Uh, excuse me. Uh, good evening, class. I am Danilo. My name is Rolando Danilo Sanchez. I work in San Salvador. Is my company the service uh, construction, uh, the work, and the house. Um, I am interested in learning English because it's important for my life. A uh, uh, new job uh, is, is very interesting. Um, what, I, uh, what I suspect from this module, Luis, is, is better English. Uh, uh, better listen uh, uh, I understand uh, uh, listen music and video uh, only that teacher nice yes why not it's a good expectation to learn English to understand music to understand videos in English to understand the movies in English because sometimes the humor the action, the dialogues in the movies is different. If you listen to the translation or to the interpretation, sometimes it's not the same. It's not the same feeling. All right. Somebody else. Okay. Um, yes, teacher. Choose. Say a name. Excuse me? Say a name. Oh, I I know. Understand. Uh, please, oh, please. 
say, choose a name from the screen. Somebody eh. that you want that he or she introduces. Elige uh, un nombre. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, Mr. Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> It's Robert here. <laughs> Are you okay, present, Rolando. Robert? <laughs> Thank you, Rolando. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Oh. Uh, good evening, class. My name is Roberto Carlos Alvarenga. I live in Hayaque La Libertad and I work in, in Lourdes Colón at the company Confecciones del Valle. I am a quality control. In my work, I check different brands of cloth, for example, Adidas, New Balance, um, Nike, and the other brands. And in my world, uh, when I start work, first I tur turn on my computer and check the emails. Then I have a meeting with my boss or my coworker. Yeah. And I study English because I think so is very important and because the English open open different opportunities yeah and in my case for example I, I study English because I get I hope get a new job yeah and second because in the future I will travel to United States and third because English Uh, it's very important and I like them. For for this for this model, I hope I hope learn vocabulary, pronunciation, verbs, verbs in present, past, and past participle. Yeah. And uh, I think so we all we all people in the class, uh, we can do it, learn English. Only teacher. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was a lot of information. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Were you reading? You don't need to read to express all these ideas anymore. Yes, I, I, I read I read a lot, teacher. Uh -huh. And I, for so, example, I, I like it, read, read information very important and documentals, creo que documentales. documentales. Yeah. Uh -huh. documents and and so I like it listen listening to music watch watch TV on English and I think so all is very important yes all these uh, activities all these give you more vocabulary more ideas to express that's great all right Alguien que no hayan escuchado y que lo quieran escuchar. Somebody. Mi teacher. Yes, Andrea. Nice to meet you. Go. Uh, my name is Andrea. Uh, I, I work at in Banco Pro America. I am I am a lawyer. I am interested in learning English because to get better, to get better opportunities. Uh, what I expect from this module is learn, get right of the fear of speaking. Yes, so this is a great opportunity to practice speaking, definitely. Awesome. Uh-huh. And the reactions, yes. Awesome, good. Let's see, who else? Who else, who else? Maria Leticia. <laughs> no, ya <yes, too. laughs> Carlos. She's popular. Cathy <laughs> Briseida. Cathy Briseida. 
Roberto, ayer me presenté. <risa> Hay nuevos en la clase. <risa> ok. Good evening, class. My name is Katy Hernández. I work at ADCLA. I live in Zacatecoluca. I am interested in learning English because um, today it is important to speak more that one language. What I expect from this model is learn more to be able to speak the language well. Only. All right, awesome. In the reactions, please. Okay, who's next? En lo que la persona se prepara, just one minute. I need to connect my laptop because it's dying. Hazel again. <laughs> Cuánta ingratitud. <laughs> Tranquila, Hazel. Tranquila. Ah, oh, Julio César. Come on, Julio César. You can do it. Hello, Carlos. Hey, Wilbur. No, pues no sé qué con Wilbur. <laughs> yeah. No here. No here. Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. I come back. <laughs> okay, who is missing to introduce him or herself? No, Andres. Tell us. Good good evening, class. Good evening. Um, well, in my case, my name is Andres Martinez. I work in the name of my company is Cosase. Um, my job is about a security company. I, my activities, um, there is a, um, well, bring security for the different clients for all of, for, for all our country. Um, I, I live in, I live in Lourdes, but I have another house in Cuscatancingo. So I can receive my class there or for another house. <clears throat> and for um, why I want to learn English. In my case, I want to learn English because I want to travel for a uh, United States or for Canada. And I hope that in the future, I can apply for a, a program or a job <clears throat> in, their, in, the, in their countries. And what, what are my expected in this model? Well, in my case, I believe that, or I hope to learn more because just I know a little bit and learn different verbs, different words, and learn more because I know that I need to learn more. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, just... nice, thank you. Reaction. <laughs> All right, nice, Andres. Welcome. Some people haven't introduced. Are we listening to? Let's see. I don't know if Gilberto is gonna do it or yes, do teacher. Hey. Me podría compartir la dispositiva. Yes. Of course. <laughs> no hesitations of course i can do it oh yes oh yes good evening class i am gilberto my name is gilberto benito santa maria and i work global import spy at sales men and work sales men i am interested in learning english because uh, uh, Superation and, and life. And what, and what I expect from the model is better 
English in my life. Nice. That's all. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the reactions, of course. Okay, so we already talked to everybody. Mary, Hazel, Rolando, Carlos, Virginia. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Um, hello and good evening, class. My name is Virginia Vasquez. I work in Silla. Uh, for uh, Unicomer SADCB in Almacenes Tropicas Metro Centro San Miguel. I, I want to learn English because it this necessary in me hot. Um, uh, I do learn pronunciation in the mall number four. That's all. Yes. Nice. Thank you. To improve pronunciation and to learn more words. Okay. Good. Let's see who else, who else, who else. That's everybody. We're done. You know each other. Para quien es primera vez en este grupo? First time. O ya todos se conocían. Raise your hand. No. Me. No, teacher. <laughs> Me is the first time only. Only the teacher. Really? <laughs> <laughs> y todos los demás ya se conocían. O hay alguien que sea com completely new in this group. Mary. Eh, creo que si habemos nuevos teacher, como que somos de dos grupos. Porque ah, yes, parecer... mm -hmm. so they mix two groups. They put yes, two yes, groups together. Group. Ah, yes, nice. So there is a group of friends and there is another group of friends. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yes. Cool. Okay, welcome. Then now we are one group. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's really cool, actually. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so the manual, as I said before, it's very important to have the manual. You can get the manual from the website, from the platform. So that's really cool. You just click on it and download it. Okay, this was the vocabulary that the manual presents on the first lesson. On this lesson, on this unit, and that's specific, we're going to be purchasing and storing. Purchasing means acquiring, buying, getting products, materials, machines, okay? And, of course, through this lesson, you're going to be able to describe features about the product that my or someone else at my workplace purchased. And of course, to start, you're going to ask your partners about the products that their workplace purchased. What are the features in it? Okay, these are the features, the size, the weight, the price, the dimension, dimension, sorry, battery life, storage function, and guarantee. Yesterday, we practiced, but we are gonna practice more. This time, maybe you can say, Tell me the definition of guarantee. And the other person says, okay, guarantee is... Uh -huh. I promise I to promise repair. Repair. Promise to repair or replace okay. something Thank within you. a period of time. So we're going to be reading and trying to remember the definition, okay? So are you ready for this? Yes, teacher. Of course, I'm gonna share this uh, a screenshot also on your WhatsApp group if you don't have the material yet, but if you have the material, it's a lot easier. Of course, we're going to recreate the groups. We're gonna make different groups so that you can participate and interact with other people, all right? 
Let's go. Mm, battery, battery, battery life is number C, but I don't. A measure of battery performance and low temperature. I battery life. Okay. Meter F. A body's relative mass or the quality contained by something. Okay, and uh, letter C is price. Price um, is letter G and is the amount of money required or paid for something. Okay, number four, Andrea, please. Number four. Dimension. Para dimension. Man. Entonces, eh, number four is D. Uh -huh. well, number okay. four is D. Uh -huh. Y number one is A. Is A. Uh -huh. Okay. Wait. 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 F, a body relative must or the quantity. So, la, esta, sí. y uno y dos, y la tres, entonces nos tocaría hacer cuál, la cuatro. No, pero, teacher, ¿cuál vamos a hacer ahorita, la dos? Numeral dos. Solo vamos a practicar el vocabulario que estuvieron viendo ayer. ¿Cómo es la, la, el PDF? Ah, ok. Solo son las features, son las características sí, sí. de los productos que oh, compran. Yeah. Que es país, que es guarantee, y yes. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. All right. Entonces, Julio César. Entonces. Ajá, sí. Ok. Por ejemplo, size. Uh, think the amount okay. of money required or paid for something. Price. Number yes, that's three. correct. Three. Yeah, number three. Okay. Sorry. Practical use or propose in the sign. The last one, seven. Function. Function. Yes. Function. In this call, use, or per. Sería. Algunos socios, sobre todo los productos, ¿verdad? Ah, pero es esa imagen, yo como no estoy en el mundo. Ay, son. Uh, 
Jesus. Sí, pero la hora de guardar y con mi parte muy completa, para decir que el tiempo no puede llevar así, vale. Or the or the quantity contained by something. Uh, in Spanish, es como es una masa relativa de un cuerpo o la cantidad contenida por algo. Eso es eso es lo que lo que significa en español, ¿verdad? Eh, Andrea, el número tres, ¿sabe qué dice en español o tiene una idea? Quiero ver. Eh, price, eh, precio. Ok. Es el, quiero ver. De amor, no sé qué. Son tantas. Es... Palabras, sé, pero no, no sé qué dice. Ok, es como. Uh, amón es como la cantidad. La, la cantidad de dinero, dice requerida o pagada por algo. Eso es precio. ¿no? Ok. Pero dices, uh, no, some, sometime. Uh, ¿A dónde? En, ahí en esa de tres dice, the amount of money required of par for sometime. Uh -huh. La cantidad de dinero requerida o pagada ah. por algo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Cat, Katy, hola. The número cuatro. Yes. Mm, dimensiones. Ah, dimensiones. Uh, Entiende lo que dice el, 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 el digamos mm. la respuesta en español. Um, a la primera, no sé, de ahí el otro sí proporciones de algún tipo. O algo así. Eh, measurement, measurement es como medidas, medidas uh -huh. o, prombo, o proporciones de algún tipo, dice. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Sigue con la siguiente, la número 5. Número 5. O este, uh, la batería de. Ajá. Es como... La duración de la batería, algo así. Ajá, cabal. Teacher, teacher, no contesta. Tell me, tell me. In a in a letter A, the me measurements. Uh -huh. Mares, Marisons of Proposes of the Sun Kill. Así se dice. Measurements or proportions of some kind. Ah, kind. Uh -huh. Kind. Uh -huh. Ajá, va. Ah, pues sí, es que yo pensé que era kill. Kind, yes. Kind. Ah, uh va. -huh. Measurements. Uh -huh. Measurements. Mesh. Sí, porque la palabra estaba algo trabona. ¿no? Mesh. Sí. Eh, para picar. Ajá. Yeah. Apailopo. ¿Cómo se dice apailopo? ¿Dónde? Abiabo. Abiabo. Abia. No. Quiero ver. Abiable. 
Está tremenda esa palabra. Available. 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 Ay, no. Available. 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 Teacher, help. Help me. Lo están haciendo muy bien. Available. 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 Uh -huh. Available. Okay. Thank you. Es que el ble se pronuncia como bobe. Uh -huh. Available. Yes. Ok. Vaya, entonces la volvemos a repetir. Yes. Ahora okay. comienzo yo porque siento que las mismas hemos repetido. <risa> Vaya, pues. The number one, one size, a uh, things over, overall. Number three. Number two. Uh -huh, number two, perdón. Number two, okay. Number three. Y solo nos quedaría Number 7 Number 7 uh -huh. Number 7 eh, Le puede tomar una captura Sí, sí, ya Tómela por favor Este da La Number three, the, la vamos a contestar, teacher. Just practice, it's just practice. Hasta ahí está bien, solo voy a practicar el, oh. el concepto. Oh, okay. Conceptos, sí, sí. Magnitude. 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 So dimension. Number four, dimension. I think overall dimension or magnitude. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Number five. Gilberto, number, number five. Number five is C. Battery life, ¿verdad? Dijimos que era letter C, ¿verdad? A measure, uh -huh. a measure of battery perform a long, 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 ¿verdad? Long, ¿Cómo se dirá eso? Pues algo así que se refiere a la, a la vida útil. A la longitud. La Longevidad es longevidad, o sea, el tiempo de duración, Ajá. ¿verdad? Long, longevity. Uh -huh. Longevity. Uh -huh. Long, longevidad es long. Eh, a escribir, digamos, algunos, algunas. Eh, tengo un par de libros y, y los empiezo como a transcribir. ¿no? Y eh, de tanto escribir, escribir lo mismo y lo mismo, o sea, uno va sacando, digamos, vocabulario. ¿no? Okay. Y poco a poco uno va tomando nota, esto significa tal cosa, esto significa tal cosa. Y, y tal vez en un video eh, escucha esas palabras, ya las va comprimiendo, haciendo la lógica del significado. ¿no? Sí. Ajá. Básicamente eso, o sea, y cómo se llama, y todos los días, va eso sí, aunque sea un ratito, 10, 15 minutos en el almuerzo. 
este, tratar de escribir algo, escuchar algo. Y eh, a veces en internet hay algunos quizzes que, que digamos, de gramática sencilla, de los, del simple present, past tense. Eso ayuda mucho también como para recordar. Hello, teacher. We finished. We already finished, teacher. All right, great. Thank you. Everybody come back. Okay, let's wait for a couple of your partners that are still in the rooms. They're coming, they're coming. Yes, I see. Good practice of the pronunciation of the concepts. <laughs> it was easy. It was difficult. Teacher, uh, difficult. Uh, it's me, difficult, me, teacher. It me, difficult. Sir, measurements. Measurements. Difficult. Sin, sin dudar, measurements. Measurement. Yes. Measurements measure or proportions of or some kind. Measure some kind. Teacher, what the difference? Measurement with mesh, measure. Measure, measure es medir, es la acción. En measurements son las medidas. Ah, okay. Um, okay. Of thanks. course, to get the measurements, you have to measure. Okay. Right? So, a promise to repair or replace something within a period of time, a measure of battery performance and your own longevity. And longevity. Longevity, actually. Yes. Longevity. Mm -hmm. I think no, several dimension or magnitude, the space available for retention of something, a body's relative mass, or the quantity contained by something, and the amount of money required to pay for something, and practical use or purpose in design. So, of course, we see this yesterday, and we're just reviewing. Of course, you already have the concepts, right? Yes, <laughs> that's the size of things of real dimension or magnitude, the weight about its relative mass or the quantity contained in something. And that is the picture that represents the mass, of the weight, sorry. And the price, the amount of money required or pay for something. Of course, we always say, oh, how much is it? What's the price, right? Then we got the dimensions, okay? So measurements or proportion of some kind. And of course, that is the example. Battery life, mainly on the computers, on the cell phones, right? We want to say, oh, let's see the battery life. Let's see how long or how much time I can have the battery charged, right? So it's a measure, measure of battery performance and longevity. We usually, yes, represents with the battery, right? <laughs> okay, it's storage, the space available for retention of something. It can be not necessarily on a device and then the function, the practical use or purpose and design. And they guarantee right which is a promise to repair or replace something within a period of time usually the guarantees are six months one year and the longest two years and then no more guarantees whatever you buy no more guarantees unless you pay uh, an insurance but it's not a guarantee right either 
Then we were talking about purchase order. Purchase order, a document in which the purchase, I mean, are detailed, explained, and given the characteristics by numbers, right? And of course, the company that is purchasing or purchasing something of the purchaser and the supplier, the company or the store or the business that is selling, I agree, okay? On sending or delivering the products that are details in the order, okay? So this is something we already talked about. And then this was one of the examples, okay? HR, Human Resources, has requested in the latest purchase order buying a set of 10 of binders for the office purposes. So they describe the characteristics of these binders, right? The size, the design, the function, the acquisition place, and the storage place. So this was an example that we already have as well. And of course, this is the vocabulary. Okay, how much and how many? How much is for counts that we cannot count? How much money is it? No, but I can count the money. No, maybe you can count the coins, the bills, but the money in general is not countable. It's impossible to be counted. So you say, how much? How much is your watch? How much is your pen? How much is your cell phone? How much it refers to price? Or how much water? Yes, because we cannot count the water. How much water do you drink a day? Maybe we can count the units of measurements like liters, bottles, right? So you say, oh, I drink three liters or I drink two bottles, right? Okay, how much uh, gas, how much energy? So this is something that you can now count separated. In English, there are so many things that are considered no countable, like substances, liquids are no countable, all right? And then many, of course, things that you can count singularly, right, like individually. Like how many animals, how many uh doors, how many books, how many computers, how many programs. So this is for quantities, how much and how many. On the chat, van a escribir una question usando how much y una question usando how many. A ver, de las más comunes. Simple questions. How much food do you eat every day? Or how many children do you have? <laughs> 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 or how many tortillas no how many tortillas shouldn't be countable actually how many pupusas do you eat on the dinner <laughs> okay how much one question with how much and one question with how many how many brothers and sisters do you have how much question is very common to ask about prices how much water, how much food, how much work, because work is not countable. It's infinite, actually. <laughs> okay. All right, there you go. How many pets do you have? That's one question, correct. With how many? No se vale copiar. <laughs> don't cheat it's original it has to be original creative be creative mm -hmm. how much wood how much soda how much coffee uh-huh else how many tvs do you have in your house uh-huh how many y luego la otra palabra tiene que estar en plural how many tvs yes
-huh. Se le hace más fácil con how many. <ríe> How many rooms does your house have? How many apples? In plural, remember, si van a decir how many, el siguiente noun tiene que estar en plural, porque cuántos? How many apples do you eat a week? How much money did you spend? How many TVs? Yes. Uh -huh. One more, one more. Mm -hmm. How much do you spend on medicines? Could be that's a good one. Mm -hmm. How many types of medicines probably uh -huh, do you need? How many days are there in the in January? How many songs students? How many students do you have probably? How many windows does your house have? Mm -hmm. Does your room have? How much sugar do you need? In this case, sugar, no plural. How much? No plural. How many? Yes, plural. Okay. How much coffee do you drink yesterday? Did you drink yesterday? How many Netflix mm -hmm. and Power Rangers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many Netflix shows do you watch probably? <laughs> Okay, how much water do you need? Mm -hmm. How much energy do you have in the morning? <laughs> how much? Okay, how much fuel do you put in your car? Yes. How many countries are there in the world? How many stars are there in the sky? How much is the cost of the trip? Uh huh. Good, good. Perfect. Very good. Congratulations. Bueno. Pueden seguir escribiendo questions. Vamos a tomar attendance, the last attendance. Y este día sí corresponde a la primera persona quedarse a la sesión de one on one. Esta primera persona es. And this first person is Andrea Lisbeth. Present. Okay, so you stay 10 minutes, please, on one on one session. Yes? Yes. All right, great. Carlos? Present, teacher. Dennis? Gilberto? Present, teacher. Hazel? Good night. Present. Jose Andres? Julio César. Present teacher. Jose Andrés. Present teacher. Present teacher. Jose Andrés. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Julio César say present. Yes. Catherine Beatriz. Present. Katy Briseida. Present. María Leticia. Mateo Rosales. Roberto Carlos. Rolando Danilo. Rudy Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Salvador. Present. Alberto, Susana, Andrea, Virginia del Carmen, William Borges. Present teacher. Present. Good, good, good. Present teacher. Present, present. Yes. Present. Present. Se habían dormido. Wake up. Bye. How many shoes? <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do you have? How many students are there in this class right now? How much are those shoes? How many reading books? How many books do you read? Yes. 
books, all right? How many? And then the noun in plural. How many books? How many cars? How many people? People is in plural already because the singular is a person, right? So how many students? But how much? The noun is not plural. How much sugar do you put in your coffee? They, I put three spoons of sugar, yes? But then you count the units of quantity or the units of measurements, all right? That's what we're gonna keep studying next class. Questions? No questions? No questions, no, questions, no answers. Question. Okay, good. <laughs> what do we say? Bye-bye. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Happy night, teacher. Enjoy. Good night. Andrea, you are here. Sabe que no entendí cuando me dijo a los minutos entendí lo que procesé. Eh, me quedé como procesando cada palabrita que oí. Ah, sí, sí, me dijo que me <risa> Mi sesión de one on one de usted. Sí. Pero por deducción también, porque es la primera. The first person on the list. Tell me, Andrea, tell me about yourself. Teacher, a mí me cuesta mucho el inglés. <risa> really? Sí, la verdad que por eso también a veces me gusta ser la primera. En, en esta casa siempre soy la primera en pasar en esos 10 minutos. Dígame, cuénteme de usted en inglés, todo lo que pueda contarme. Yo sé que a veces más para que practice. I know, I know, but try. The idea is bueno, to try. Eh, bueno, I am a lawyer. Um, in, the, in the university, not English. No real English. Did you study English at the university? No. Never? No sé cómo se dice ni una materia. Any, any subject never, in English. Never, 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 never. And what university did you study? In, in the University of El Salvador. Really? Yes. <gasps> Here is El Salvador. Sí, yes. And you never study English. No, 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 no. Did you study no. in person in the campus or online? In the person. Incredible. Hasta hoy el pensum no tiene ni una de inglés. Sí. Ah. Y, in the in the school, uh, no sé si así se pronuncia allá yeah. en la básica. Yeah, at in the school in the or school. at school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At school in um, septimo, seventh grade, seventh grade, English basic. O sea, Some. solo en septimo empezaron a dar inglés bien básico, Are pero no pasó el básico. Opendidor. Opendidor, close the window, stand up, relax. <laughs> Entonces casi que aquí he venido a empezar de cero, cero es cero. Oh, wow. And when did you graduate from eh, the university? Eh, no, no sé qué me ¿Qué año se graduó de la universidad? Ah, el año pasado. 2022. Last year. Last year. Yes. Last year. Entonces sí le tocó estar como dos años en virtual. Eh, One year. Eh, el, el, lo demás fue la tesis. Okay. Oh my God. Yes, because I have students que conmigo terminaron en 2020, justo el año de, de la pandemia. No saben mm -hmm. qué ir al campus. They continue virtual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y más ahora que lo están reconstruyendo. Es que la, los que, los que, ah, usted es, es, va, eh, da clases en la Universidad de El Salvador. Yo di clases en CNUS, pero it was in English. Eh, I, 
no sé, I, me inscribí, mm -hmm. me inscribí I ese, ese año, uh -huh. justo una semana después que me inscribí a CNU, vino la pandemia, como que la vida está en contra que iba a <risa> What a terrible coincidence. <risa> really, Andrea. Yes. Ya me había metido a las presenciales en CNU y creo que justo después de una semana cae la pandemia, yo, por Dios. Y, ¿Y si empecé se tardaron en retomar virtual. Sí, hubo un montón horrible, casi seis meses, si no es que más. Más, más. Yo, de hecho, por eso dejé, porque, ay, no, yo dije, I'm not waiting, o sea, era, era todo incierto. Y había mucha gente que era el único, la, la única oportunidad de empleo que tenía. Entonces yo le dije al coordinador que mejor se la diera a alguien que, que fuera su única fuente de ingreso. Y yo, gracias a Dios, no, nunca dejé de trabajar. Because ah. I work in another company. Uh -huh. Pero I live near, yo vivo cerca de la U. Ah, uh -huh. qué, qué bien. Muy bien, que por ahí cerquita. Sí, ¿y no you live in Metapan? Y... No, en mexicanos, en eh, Walmart Constitución. Ah, el Pai la Gloria. Ah, no, en la San Ramón. Ah, ok, going up. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yo veo mexicanos también, pero I live ah. here near Sacamil. Mm. <laughs> like, ah. near San Alfonso. Ah, ah. Uh -huh. Pero no da clases en San Alfonso. No. I teach mm. in una fundación para, uh -huh. para jóvenes becados. Ah. Es del programa empresarial Superate. So I teach in Soyapango. Mm. Le toca bajar. Por eso a veces tomo el atajo y paso frente a la U. Ah. <ríe> Porque si me digo por el centro mexicano es too crowded. Es muy sí, lleno. No le queda por el centro de Soyapán. No, es near Plaza Mundo. Ah, uh -huh. sí, porque meterse. Yo antes vivía en Soya. Really? El last, last, last year. year uh -huh. eh, I live in Soyapán. Really? Yeah. Pero ahora está mejor. La verdad es que las cosas han cambiado un montón. Sí. Sí, sí, la un verdad montón, que sí. ya no se siente pero como la tráfico. gran... No, el tráfico, oh, ay Dios, pero diga que hoy han puesto a todos los carriles reversibles, horrible. Ay, no. Terrible. In the morning, hay cuatro carriles hacia acá y solo dos hacia allá. In ay. the afternoon, it's the opposite. Only two coming here and four going there. So, ha ayudado un poco a la gente de allá, pero para nosotros es terrible. Yo lloraba, ¿cómo se dice? Lloraba. I cry. I cry, sí. Porque yeah. yo tenía que subir desde Soya hasta la Gran Vía. Oh. ¿A qué hora salía? A las 3 de la mañana. Un cuarto a las a las 5, salía a 4.45. Terrible. No, yo, yo sí lloraba. You work in Promérica. Sí, yes. I have a partner in la fundación que she used to work in Promérica en la Gran Vía. ¿De verdad? Ahora ella es la, eh, la asistente académica, pero antes trabajó really? en Promérica en la Gran Vía. Maybe la conoce. ¿Hace cuánto está en, en el Promérica? Eh, eh, one, one year. Ok, pues no, ella ya tiene, quiero ver, four years de estar con nosotros. Before uh -huh. that, she used to work in Promérica. Uh -huh. Sí, mi vida cambió cuando entré ahí, que fue ya que cambié el nivel. <risa> Tenga, o sea que antes estaba en otra empresa. Sí, antes estaba, estaba en gobierno, pero ah, no me iba tan bien. Really? Sí, como ahí más que todo en gobierno por cuello y, y si uno no tenía cuello no crecía. Entonces, no era, ajá. Pero como lawyer puede tener muchas, muchas áreas de trabajo. De oportunidad, sí, sí, realmente sí, pero en gobierno sí, sí, había entrado nada más de milagro de Dios porque me la escolé, pero en realidad no. ¿Y en qué, en qué dependencia? Yo estaba en, estuve en la Dirección Nacional de Medicamentos y estuve en Hacienda. Uh, hablando de Hacienda, no he hecho la declaración. Pero, <risa> sí, digo, no la he hecho. 
pero sí, eh, en dos como proyectos, no tenía una, uno fijo. Entonces, ah. no, nunca logré la plaza. Sí, no, así no. Ah. Sí. Bueno, qué interesante hablar con usted, Andrea. Pues mañana le escribo para hacer la declaración. No, <risa> no, ni la mía puedo hacer. Really. No, como hay en Hacienda, yo veía cosas no, eh, legales. No, pues claro, <risa> si no es su área. <risa> si fuera accountant, ahí cara, sí. Que... <risa> Así Allá. que ahí me va a tener paciencia, teacher. Yo, no, no te preocupes. It's okay. El, el, el Pero lo importante es que ha estado ahí. Ha estado ahí, persistente. Y está así como bien, bien, bien enfocada, bien pendiente. Entonces, no se distrae, no apaga la cámara. Eso, eso le va a ayudar un montón. Y sí, trate de tomar nota lo más que pueda, subrayar, ponerle highlight al, al manual, todo, para que le ayude a recordar las cosas. Sí. Uh -huh. Mire, a mí me da pena a veces que va a pronunciar, porque yo sé que no tengo una pésima pronunciación, pero digo, solo así se me va a ir quedando y aprendiendo. No, no y no piense así, sino que piense que entre más lo diga, más bonito se le va a escuchar. Pues sí, uh -huh. así es. Hay que decirlo muchas veces. Cabal, que oigo a los compañeritos que bien cabal y... No, sí, de hecho se ve que hay varios que les gusta mucho. Y eso es muy bueno también porque les beneficia a aquellos que no han tenido sí. tanta exposición al idioma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, la verdad que sí. That's nice. Do you have children, Andrea? No. No yet. No, no, no. no yet. I'm young, diga. I'm a child. Okay. How old are you? No sé qué me pregunto. How old are you? Oh, I, uh, I am uh, 27. 27. Yes, you are very young. When I was 27. <laughs> long time ago. Long, long time ago. Yes. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's all right. No problem. Okay. Thank you very much for staying. Okay. And be confident. Don't worry. Just relax yeah. and practice. Practice, practice. Okay. okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.